We are here at Baltimore Festival 2019, Exeter's leading arts and culture festival. Today we're going to enjoy plays, spoken word and music. So come on, let's see what there is. I am here with some of Soul Choir who have just finished their set. Um, Lizzie, how did it feel opening Baltimore today? I think it was just like, we've done it for the last three years and I think it's really lovely feeling at the beginning of summer. Because it's not just the beginning of Baltimore, I think it's the beginning of summer for us and I think a lot of students as well. How are you feeling about the set coming up? Buzzing, can't wait. We love Portmore so much. There's forces that nearly stopped us being able to play today and we were like, no, we are playing Portmore 2019 no matter what. So what can we expect from you guys later? Um, very jumpy, hopefully. I know we're a bit earlier than normal, so hopefully everyone's going to bring it. Musical inspiration, where, where would you say it sort of comes from for you? For me, uh, people like Bon Iver, Matt Corby, Ben Howard, daughter, that kind of thing. The new vibes, yeah. Is this a dagger I see before me? The handles are on my hand. Oh. Let me clutch thee. Oh. No, 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 no! So, I am here with Alex Roundtree, the star of Macbeth. You've literally just come off stage. Yeah. How was it? It's good. Uh, good turnout. Really, really pleased with audience size. Really pleased with everything, how it went. M my big question is, obviously Macbeth is a huge role. That's a massive role. How did you prepare for that? Um, so, I essentially looked at it as a kind of a, a two-fold process. Um, the directors, Matt and Tom, uh, very much wanted to go at it from the perspective of um, a man who was basically styled like Mark Renton from Train Spotting, who ended up becoming enveloped in this Shakespearean world. So I rewatched Train Spotting, uh, tried to copy a lot of Renton's physicality, a bit of spuds as well if you've seen the film. Why oh, you say that? I'm man! I'm fucking man! Well, I think I always quite like the sort of like idea of like modernising Shakespeare, but sort of changing the language because I see a lot of modernisation of Shakespeare where they keep the sort of the old language, and it always seems a little bit. In some way, in some ways, it's done really well, but in some ways, it just seems a little bit clunky. So I was like, it would be nice to sort of embrace a different side of the language. One of the key things about that, it was all in Scottish accents, but then the soliloquies yeah. were delivered out in sort of like RP. Yeah. Where did that kind of idea come from? When you just do it, then you are a man, and to be more than what you were, you would be so much more than man. Partially, uh, some of the people weren't that great at the accent, so <laughs> that sounds really bad. No, no, I think more it was sort of like the decision to sort of have that very stark contrast with between the sort of the Scottish idea and then the sort of the tripping and that direct change in language and that direct change in pronunciation so it's so much more sort of accentuated. I mean, there are moments where you have slightly Scottish twinges of the Shakespearean element, which I quite like to sort of show that transition, but to show the shock on Macbeth's face, I think it works really, really well when you have that, them speaking in the, yeah, the RP sort of accent here. Yeah. Some really interesting song choices. Talk me through, um, like, I was loving Good Vibrations. Talk me through some of the song choices. We kind of try and go for a mix between sort of OG, soul. But we do a mix of all of them. Apparently I'm rogue as well. <laughs> I just like to pick songs that I think would work. So you're playing a wedding later. Yeah. Different vibes in one day, different vibes. Yeah, absolutely. We're going to have to get changed out of all of our natural clothes that we like wearing <laughs> and put a suit on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Can I just say, tonight, no, with Iggy Pop. I did like Al Green and Marvin Gaye, I just, this, just not this set list. But I, I have caused to... so much drama, I should not have asked that question. I feel chronically underdressed in comparison <laughs> to you guys. You can get your geared up. Yeah, no, honestly, if you can get me some pink and yellow, yeah. I will join in, I'll come on stage. When, when did Soul Choir fall apart? Is because I accidentally asked a question. Yeah, no! We're yeah. leaving! <laughs> My favourite thing about, about your set was there was such a mixture of different instruments all the time, you guys were like swapping and doing all sorts of stuff. Yeah. How, how does that come about? Who brings that to the table? Whose idea is that? I'm, I'm going to move it on to you. Uh, that all, well, Blythe writes all the songs and um, this set was an acoustic realisation of the electronic album that we made about a year and a half ago. So we all just played the acoustic 
versions of the instruments that we played on that. Apart from Joe, who just stuck with cello. And then, so what? What is next for for Pat and Pusher this summer? Have you got any more plans for the rest of the summer? Lots of festivals. Yeah, well, yeah. We've got um, got one called Altitude coming on, and uh, one called Glass Denbury. Great name for a festival. Um, <laughs> Glass Denbury. Uh, Beautiful Days, which is quite near here actually, is a good one. Um, got Leo Palooza in Cornwall. Um, and then loads of gigs like around those as well. So yeah, lots of festivals and fun times. That's Can't a wait. packed schedule. There's yeah. just like a list, a list yeah, of all of them. It really is. Yeah, yeah. Just what are you looking forward to for the rest of the day? I'm actually looking forward to Pat and Pusher because I saw them before and I'm also looking forward to the Turo Roots because I know the guy in it, so it'll be good. I, I know. <laughs> Hype. We're having a break. We're having a break, okay. aren't we? You've had too many gigs. <laughs> yeah, we'll definitely watch Rosie. We've known Rosie for years and we love her album, so yeah, we'll, we'll watch that. Me? Oh, uh, that cocktail van over there. We're going in a lot. We're all going to but nine gigs in five days. Like eight gigs in like six days. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds exhausting. That honestly does. That's great. <laughs> Love yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> We'd rather be doing that than anything else. Yeah, oh, yeah? I'm going to be jumping in. I'm fully going to be jumping. <laughs> We're coming to get you. It was an interesting experience, it was intense, but I had fun. Yeah. They all looked like they had fun. <laughs>